All right, hi. Uh, my name is Iyad Zahra, and I'm the director, producer, and co-writer uh, co of The Taco Corps, uh, a film that's premiering in the next section at Sundance 2010. The, the film was originally a novel by Michael Muhammad Knight, and you know this was all built into the novel. And that it's these got these characters that are confused. When you're young, um, you, you tend to be trying to figure, you, you struggle trying to figure out who you are. And especially as a as an, a, an American Muslim in the times we live in today, it gets even more confusing. So by using punk rock, you can sort of let everything be explored. You know, by using that form of punk, everything's on the table and everything is. Uh, is uh, available to be looked at and explored and um, you know sort of thrown in the air. The location we filmed in is really incredible. It's called the Tower 2012 and it was this underground DIY space, you know, do-it-yourself slash punk house um, and the people that sort of built it, converted an old Chinese restaurant into that space. So they would live upstairs and they would have shows on on the main floor. And it was completely free, it was, doors were always open, and every single wall was painted with something, or tag, or graffitied, or something. And just basically two years of artistry was already all over the place. So when we came into film, we just had to add a few of our sort of, you know, top core elements to the walls, but, I mean, that... I mean, that in itself would have been, you know, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of dollars it would have taken to make that set. We got it um, pretty much for free from these guys. And while we shot the film, they still live there. So, you know, we would shoot, we'd, we'd get up, get there in the morning, we'd wake them up, we got to shoot in this room, they'd get up and leave. And when we'd leave, that night they'd throw on a show. It was incredible. I mean, the kind of energy that was happening in that space. you know you know um, whether you know, this is both in, in Islam and the American world women are objectified sexually I mean you just can't it's, it's, it's been like that for a long time and it, unfortunately it's getting worse and worse every day even even though we're more educated as a human race so you know by sort of using this twisted stereotype of the burqa with the character um, we actually uh, de-objectify her, the, uh, the female character, and let you listen, and you're more focused on what she says. And she's actually, a, you know, as in the film, she's a very powerful feminist, so by not seeing her face and by just hearing her voice, I think that amps up what she has to say when she says it. Um, and there's definitely a few moments that are very, are very, very powerful um, coming from a woman, and you wouldn't expect that in a woman in a burqa, you know. Um, and so the first part of your question, there definitely is a lot of homoeroticism in the film. It's, you know, what, men and women are often separated, segregated in Islam. And, you know, there's lots of affection and lots of frustration and anger and that happens within, you know, sort of male sequence, uh, when all the males are together in the film. And that's, you know, that's sort of ex extreme to the extreme, but that happens a lot, you know. When guys are, you know, constantly around each other and there's no women, like, Things tend to, you know, be more emotional and, you know, more exciting sometimes, if you will. Right.